Look at the front where it says Ames real big. everyone i'm out here in new galilee this evening i'm actually awaiting my friends from historic bf to meet up with me uh, we have a special unit on its way it's on ns 6k4 it's a tanker train that's going eastbound and the second unit on it is the canadian pacific world war ii memorial unit so i'm really looking forward to catching that i know they're on their way they're in the enon valley right now and they just told me that 10q was doing a crew change right now so maybe we'll be able to catch them and catch something else. Uh, if not, we're at least going to get the uh, heritage unit there for Canadian Pacific on a Norfolk Southern train, which is going to be really cool. And we're going to try to catch it as many times as we possibly can. So anyway, come along with us and enjoy. We're going to go have some fun catching a train here at this crossing and wherever else. And you'll see it coming up the tracks right down there. All right, so change of plans. I'm actually heading out to Enon Valley right now to meet up with Chad, and uh, we're gonna try and catch it there because 10Q is still in the process of doing a crew change, and 6K4 is behind them. And I'm just a few miles away, so I have a lot of time to get there. So we're gonna catch it there, then hopefully here and wherever else. So hope you enjoy. All right, he's coming. He'll be coming around the bend here. Here come the lights. I see the lights now on the tracks. Got a headlight out. <laughs> Here comes the CP unit I've been waiting to see.
Well, that's going to wrap up a fun evening of rail fanning with Chad of Historic BF. I'm really glad I was able to get a hold of him and meet up with him so we could catch that Canadian Pacific unit. And we caught a couple other trains as well. Uh, you'll see in other videos. But how about that sunset, too? The whole sky just looks absolutely incredible. It's amazing out here. You hear the frogs out here, too. But it was really cool catching the Canadian Pacific World War II Memorial Unit. And uh, we caught a few other trains. Like I said, you'll see in other videos. They, they were big ones, too. And uh, good lash-ups today. Good, uh, good trains. Had a great time. And I hope you enjoyed uh, catching Canadian Pacific with us and catching it in multiple areas. That's one thing I like about rail fanning out this way. Not only is it scenic, but you have multiple places to catch it where you can pull off the side of the road catch a train and it makes it that much more fun at least for me anyway it does than just doing it in one spot but sometimes that's all i can do and that's okay too but this is fun i love coming out here and i'll be out here again real soon anyway thanks for watching everybody take care stay awesome on kayla's behalf have a rail fanlicious day and make sure you go over to historic bf and check out his channel subscribe to chad tell him i sent you Get his channel some love. Get it up in subscriber counts there. So, uh, all right, everyone. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. He lived down by the railroad track Had an old wood stove in a one-room shack Shoestring was the only name he had when I'd skip school, he'd take me fishing, sitting on the creek bank, talking and wishing things were good whenever times got bad. And the people say, shoestring, you ain't got no money. Shoestring, you can't hang around here. Shoestring, you got your hat on backwards. He knows more than most folks do, but he don't talk unless you ask him to. When the winter comes and the wind blows me, shoestring hops that southbound train, rides it down below that Florida line.